Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Capricorn in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for March 2021. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below in the description box. Now Capricorn, yes, still there are some people out there pretending that they are me, other smart asses are, <laughs> are offering services. They can bring your ex back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, but it's, yeah, they're scammers. They just want to take your money, and that's it. Okay, Capricorn, <laughs> let's move on to your reading now. So, as above, so below. You're manifesting, Capricorn. That's what you're doing. And it's going to happen fast. Okay. So, okay. That's good. You're manifesting. It's going to come to... Oh, my God. Someone is coming, though. Yeah, with a page of cups. Someone, something, a surprise. For Capricorn. Oh, come on, really? The Ace of Pentacles. So there is something coming in. An offer. An opportunity. Okay, this is what you have manifested. You have manifested this. Good job. Uh, what did I say? It's going to come in fast. It's going to be like a surprise. Like a wow. Really? So it's for you. It's for you. You deserve it. Could be someone. Could be something. Because there's also the emperor here. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see. One more shuffle for you. Mm -hmm. And we're ready. Look, the magician again on the bottom of the deck. So, this is serious stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. You ended something, something stopped, only for it, something new to begin. Sorry, but I have to fix this or else I'm going to be in trouble. Let me see. Okay, perfect. The world. First card for you is the Hermit. Virgo energy. It could be that you manifested this while there was uh, the full moon in Virgo. I believe it was like in on the 28th, yes, of February. So... Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles again. The Eight of Swords. The Eight of Wands. You see, something was blocked here with the Eight of Swords. And then and then when 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 the energies was were, were blocked here. But they will get unstuck. Like, yes, the Eight of Wands is fast movement. Two of Wands, this has to do with something regarding your future. The devil. <clears throat> your energy. Queen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Could be that also someone is being left out here, but I don't feel that this is you. I don't feel that this is you. No, this is your energy. The Ace of Wands with the star. So let's see, okay? Actually, I want to clarify the Five of Pentacles because it's bothering me. I'm hearing getting out of, of, of poverty. Sorry. Capricorn. You know what I mean. Yeah, there's an offer coming in. Okay. Again, the Page of Cups here. This could be someone that was not paying attention to you. 
or was leaving you out of the calls. And suddenly it's like they, they, they want to come back or they're reaching out to you or something like that. We will see. Okay, because this is fast movement, communication. Hmm. Look at that. You're very abundant. Nine of Pentacles. Very abundant. Clarifying the Eight of Wands, please, for Capricorn. The Eight of Wands for Capricorn. Something was stuck, man. I'm telling you, something was stuck. Something was not moving. It was not progressing. And it gets unstuck here. It gets unstuck. Excuse me. Yeah. It has to do with career, with money, with home. This is a very abundant energy. Very much so. Okay. Look, the Ten of Cups. It's coming in fast. Look, the Knight of Wands. Something what was ho li li really look something was that was not moving. Something that was stuck is moving fast. Okay, so and I'm also seeing this with the Hermit here because the Hermit <coughs> is a silent, stagnant energy. Well, not really, but yeah, because the Hermit, while the Hermit is in Hermit mode. He's not moving, no, but he is learning. So, whatever he learns, he then puts that in action. Got me? Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Six of Wands. This is victory, Capricorn. There's victory. You're going to be praised. You're going to be... Admired, praised. Capricorn, on the high priestess again, she wants to come out. But yeah. After a period of not doing anything, of resting, well, that's doing something, you know what I mean? It's like, you learned something here. You learned. And, you know, it's different for each and every one of you. What you learned, what you realized. While you were in this energy. Of a pause. It could be also that you were waiting for something to come into fruition. Could be. But whatever you were waiting for is coming. Yep, Capricorn. Why is this page of cups here? Why is this page of cups here? What does... Yes, please. Ooh. The page of cups, the king of cups. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It doesn't have to be a water sign. But this person has an offer. This person has an offer for you. Okay? This king has an offer. He's coming in with an offer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm telling you, man. I mean, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm repeating, but it's like really like pow. Like this is going to be very unexpected. We have the tower here. Again, we have something very, very drastic, very, very fast, very like, what? Okay, the Ace of Wands and the Emperor, really? Really? The Ace of Wands and the Emperor. The hanged man, again, you see what I mean? It's like, sorry, uh, Capricorn, but this is like, really like weird. Because we, it's like, again, this person is not moving. You, you understand what I mean? He's upside down. Like, this is the same energy. 
Someone, you see what I mean? It's the same energy, stagnation, but a lot of enlightenment here, a lot of understanding, a lot of clarity, a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of it. And then, bam, the manifestation comes in. Maybe you were, you know what I'm getting here, but you dis dis disconnected from someone that you stopped putting energy and effort. Yes, because this is a love reading. So, yeah. Yeah, but there was, was it? Thank you. Okay, okay. Was there a separation? There was a separation. There was an ending. There was. Look. A realization that something had to end only for something new to begin with the Wheel of Fortune. So a major transformation here for you, Capricorn. Okay? You, you're leaving behind the past. This could be someone new. It could be someone new. Okay, for a lot of you, I feel that this is someone new because you are resisting the past. You don't have you don't a lot of you do not want to have anything to do with the past person here. Not at all. I'm going to clarify your energy. And then I want to go here to the King of Cups. Let's see. What's the devil? Was? Why is the devil here? Which I feel that's, that's Capricorn energy. Yeah, it represents Capricorn energy in this reading. Your energy. Let's see. Yeah, please. Let's see. Okay. The Seven of Swords. That's not good energy. Uh, especially uh, in um, with the devil. Right? It's not good energy. Let me see. You never know. Seven of Swords with the Devil for Capricorn. Please, please, please. Five of Cups. Mm. One more. The Lovers. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You did put energy effort in something that did not work out. And you were very disappointed. Very disappointed. You made a choice here. Let me see. This is you. Is this you? Yeah, because you're holding back. What did I say? Look at that. You were putting work, energy, effort. Did it pay off? No. So you stopped with the Four of Pentacles. You stopped. You made the choice because the lovers is a choice. You made a choice to stop putting feeling this because you were very disappointed the connection was toxic capricorn okay this is why the devil's here the connection was toxic <clears throat> with the seven of swords i'm getting here that you see, it's like it's like because this person was disappointing you again and again the queen of wands that was the queen of wands and this could be also another woman. I'm not gonna lie. For a couple of you, there was someone else, a woman, another man. Depends on your situation. Okay, if you're a man, if you're a woman, you understand what I mean. So maybe you felt that there was someone else. Maybe this person was entertaining someone else from their past. Or you're fighting this. You're fighting it, man. Capricorn, you're fighting this. You want nothing to do with this. You don't want to feel the Five of Cups anymore. You don't want that energy in your in, in your in your environment. You don't want this. You want to be happy. Three of Cups, Ten of Cups. Who is this King of Cups here? For Capricorn, please. Who is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups? The King of Wands. The King of Cups is the King of Wands. No, I'm joking. <laughs> now this is you. <laughs> this is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. This is someone that takes action. Okay, this is someone that takes action or wants to take action towards your way. This is an emperor. This is not a child. This is a man with balls. Okay. And something else. And it's a big one. Oh, I'm so sorry, Capricorn. I don't speak normally like that. <laughs> but this is like a phallic symbol. So sorry. <laughs> Come on, the emperor. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so 
say that. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm hmm. All right. Now we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Is this a past person, a new person? Who is this? Who is this King of Swords? <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> well, we, we gotta have some fun. We can't be serious 24 seven, you know? Oh, too much serious. Too much seriousness. Oh, the sun. This is good news. This is good news, happy news. Someone in the magician, this is what you have manifested, Capricorn. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yes, this is what you have manifested. Why not? Yes, this is good. This is good energy, okay? This is what you have manifested. A new beginning for yourself, passionate new beginning with an emperor, okay? I feel for a lot of you, this is someone new. This is someone new for a lot of you out there, okay? Because this past energy was too heavy. Was like, no, no, okay, it's a new day, it's a new dawn and I'm feeling good. You see what I mean? The sun is coming out, the past, is done bye bye over it you're over it you're over it if not you will be because there's someone here coming in with the knight of cups someone is coming in yes the emperor is coming in capricorn that's your energy queen of pentacles okay so no need to worry just have a little bit patience even though i'm seeing this coming in fast I'm seeing it's like closing one door and another one opens just like, like that. Wow. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. The moon. Excuse me, the moon. This is deep. I feel that this is deep with the moon here. This feminine energy with the moon and the, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it's like you are leaving behind something that was confusing, something that was not clear, something that was not transparent, something that made you, you know, go deep, but not in a good way. You know, myst mystery is nice, you know, not knowing could be fun, but this was really like... A pain in the butt, I'm hearing. Okay. As you know, how much can you entertain some, you know, that energy? You can't entertain it for a very long time. Because uh, yeah, after a while, it's not a mystery anymore. It's just like, blah, you know. You know? So, you're heading towards something new. A lot of you are, are heading towards... This is, could also be like a new home. Could be a new home. Or it's like you are maybe, if it's possible, I don't know, but it's like you're traveling. It's like you're traveling to a new place. Maybe it could also be you're traveling into a new e energy. This is also what I'm getting here, Capricorn, okay? So, yeah, because this is, look, look where you're heading towards. You're heading towards the Four of Wands. You see what I mean? There are two people here. This is where you're heading towards. Celebration. Stability. A home. This is what I'm getting. Something new, fresh, exciting. Yeah. Leaving behind all that. Yeah. Yes. It's like this person that is you're heading towards and they are heading towards you. It's like a it's going to be very healing. For both of you, for, yes, the Nine of Cups, Capricorn, the Nine of Cups. 
this emperor is your nine of cups and that's the truth here with the ace of swords and the two of cups really really yes believe it really it's true okay it's true for a lot of you mm -hmm. now let's see what's the advice from uh spirit so good good very good let's see what's the advice for Capricorn, for Capricorn, please. Capricorn. Capricorn. Thank you. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means take action. Yeah. Yes, you're doing that. Okay. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there will be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. So you manifested something here, you're taking action on it, and you're going to get the reward. You are going to receive the reward, okay? And don't laugh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> laughter is very important, okay, in our lives, very important, it's very healing, it heals us, it heals others, but not, you know, not pretending that you're happy or trying to laugh, no, oh, well, I didn't see it, so I'm going to keep it here because I did not see it, okay, so accept compliments. The next time someone gives you a compliment, say thank you. Don't shrug it off, play it down, or reject the gift. You'll be denying yourself and the giver the opportunity to share in a moment of gratitude and love. Exercise your self-esteem and, and soak it in, superstar. Think of compliments a little confidence-building soul vitamins. You are worthy of praise. And I feel that this emperor is going really like to praise you, okay? This is someone that knows how to treat women, knows how to treat people, you know what I mean? So maybe you are not used to this, maybe you are, maybe you're not, but you, you, whoever you have manifested to come into your life is going to lavish you, to, I feel that this person is going to be very like serious, Serious, yes. Mm -hmm. Like this person exudes respect. But when you have time alone, you're going to see something that you are going to be very surprised, like another person. Because I feel this person is going to be very funny, actually. This isn't what I'm getting. Like very, very, a very funny sense of humor, like a very funny sense of humor. A very like a sense of humor that will, will, will vibe with you. Yes. So, let's see what's your spiritual message here, Capricorn. Thank you. One. One. Tibetan. Tibetan. Tech tight. Tick tight? Yes. Uh -huh. So, one creator, one creation. However, we divide this. It always melts. Melts. Mm. Melts. M-E-L-D-C. There are no beliefs that can hold us separate, for we have always been the same and unique and still the same. One life for all beings. Reminds us to think, feel, and breathe as one. All major philosophies and spiritual practices of the world invite us to view all of life as one. It is the wisdom to which we ever return. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm going to ground it a little bit and because this is what I'm hearing and this is what I'm getting that you are going to become one with this person because you were meant to be together. Yeah. It's like magnets. You know what I mean? Like mag, can you, yeah, can you feel it? Like you're attracting each other. You have manifested each other. Well, Capricorn, 
We'll see, right? So, <laughs> if this reading did not manifest, did not manifest. <laughs> if this reading did not manifest, <laughs> I'll see you next month. <laughs> so, if this reading did not resonate with you, you can also watch your moon. Oh my goodness, this is funny. Okay, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Bye, Capricorn. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.